Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Voice of Pancreatic Cancer podcast. I'm your host, Miranda Weinberg. And if you don't know about the Sina Magwitz Foundation, you're just joining us. We are a nonprofit that's committed to the awareness, prevention, and cure of pancreatic cancer. And I'm super excited today to uh, welcome Kay Kays and Michael Francis. They are both pancreatic cancer warriors. Uh, Kay and Michael, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, maybe Kay, you want to start us off by just uh, introducing yourself and kind of how you got connected with the foundation. And then Michael, we'd love to hear the same from you. Yes. Hi, I'm, I'm Kay Kays. I, I have been fighting this battle now for hmm, 29 years now. And uh, uh, that's where I have met, you know, Roger. We've uh, Got, uh, gotten together, especially with TGen, and uh, that was over 20 years ago. And uh, he's doing, he is a mover and a shaker, let's put it that way. And uh, as a patient, I think, you know, he's going to take us a long ways, and I want to promote anything that he's involved in. And 28 years, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other, no words you can add to that. It's just, it's incredible. Michael, what about you? Well, I uh, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer four years and almost two months ago. Uh, I went to uh, a very famous Valley Hospital here in the Phoenix area and was told that I had uh only a uh, small chance of making it to three years. Uh, I went to TGen and met, and then went to Virginia Piper Cancer Center, met Dr. Gordon, and after interviewing me for approximately one and a half hours, taking my personal history, he looked at me and he said, you know, we can do better than three years. And I was put on a type two trial for what they call the triplet, which was funded by the Cena Magowitz Foundation. So I'm very uh, fond of the foundation because of that. Uh, I've beat the other hospitals time for uh, surviving and presently uh, don't have any active cancer. Uh, they don't call it remission. I just don't have anything that is uh, active. And I can attribute that to the funding of that type two, uh, type two trial, which miraculously was approved by the FDA in three years as standard treatment. So uh, I'm very beholding to the foundation because of that funding and will support them in any way I possibly could. Very inspirational, and uh, Michael, it's it's so cool that that you were one of the first people you know to be treated with that, which is now standard of care. So we're excited to have both of you. The reason that I, I asked both of you on is to talk about our new website, pancreaticcancersupportgroup.org. Um, the idea behind this whole website, I mean, it came from the both of you. So you guys came to us um, and you said, you know, we see a need in this area and, you know, it's been a long time coming, um, but, you know, we're super excited now that we're officially launching. And I wondered if you both might share just how you both realized the need and, and kind of the, the mission behind the whole um, idea for the website. Well, what I found was uh, there is an Arizona pancreatic cancer support group, but it um, requires a, a, a lot of information and stuff to get into it. But beyond that, uh, the Honor Health, where the Virginia Piper Cancer Center is, because of COVID, uh, had uh, closed down their support group. And that happened at most hospitals. Mayo closed down their support group. Um, in, across the country, uh, they closed down support groups. So 
Kay and I uh, spoke with Roger at the annual meeting we had here and said, look, you know, we've got to come up with a support group that is nationwide so that we can share our stories and other people can share their stories with where they are. And what I have found um, is that the people that, whether you're at, you have active cancer or not, uh, people are willing to uh, get into these groups uh, that uh, share information uh, about all sorts of things, uh, including, let's say I uh, found out from somebody in Florida that vitamin E oil will help uh, with the side effects of Zolota. Now, that may not mean anything to anybody that doesn't know what Zolota is or vitamin E oil, but it uh, can um, reverse uh, the, some of the side effects uh, on nails and legs and things. So that's the kind of thing that happens in a support group. And with all those support groups collapsing, Kay and I saw... Uh, you know, as she says, Roger's a mover and shaker. And we thought if we could get him to move and shake a little bit, uh, that uh, we could get a nationwide support group. And we're certainly hoping to do that with the uh, the kickoff coming up here on the 26th. And Kay, well, what do you hope will be the, the result of, of these meetings? Like, what do you hope is going to happen during and you know what's the end goal i i hope it will help our fellow patients and survivors continue to move forward on this journey um you know we do so much to take care of our bodies and we forget we have to take care of our minds and you know we're we're very happy that um actually the american cancer society has come out with you know the survival rate going from 11 to 12 percent this year which is great you know but the, the thing of it is is physics survivorship physically is moving forward but mentally the battle rages uh, because it you know you wish you could turn your mind off sometimes you can't um uh, it took me five years to find my first survivor and I mean, that was a while ago, but it's still going on today. And we, we need to be able to get survivors and patients to be able to talk to each other. The, um, the information that can flow. I mean, it's a lot of things. A lot of times you want to know, am I normal? Is this normal? You know, and I mean, you can't just make a call to your doctor, you know. So, I mean, listen to everyone. And um, it, 20 years ago, I helped initiate the very first one here in Arizona. Uh, we had people come from, well, on our video, from Tucson and Flagstaff, which meant there was, there was nothing, but um, it just has to continue to happen uh, to educate and learn from each other. So uh, as, as uh, Michael said, when we had our, our last power of us, which was funded by Dina Magowicz. This was a big item that was brought up by a lot of the patients, you know, was how can we connect? How can we share? How, you know, and so it was, it was driven from that. What would you both say to encourage someone that maybe is intimidated by the idea of a support group that's on the fence, um, doesn't know if it's right for them? What would you say to encourage them to, to try it out? Well, I mean, you don't have to say a word during these meetings. You can just absorb what's what's happening, but you will pick up things. And when I say you won't say anything, you eventually will say something because you're going to want to ask the other patients and survivors, you know, the same kind of questions that Kay was just saying. Um, and people need hope. If you don't have any hope, then there's, you have nothing. And this kind of a meeting, um, if you don't have hope, will give you hope. 
I, I, I believe too that, you know, we have wonderful family and we have wonderful friends that are very supportive. But sometimes when we tell them what we're going through, they just kind of look at us and go, yeah. When we go, the fatigue is just phenomenal. And they go, yeah, just mowed the grass and, you know, did this and did this. And it's like, it's not that kind of fatigue. Here in the group, you're going to be talking to people who have walked the walk. And now we're kind of talking the talk. And uh, it's, it's more of a living room chat is what we're gonna have, you know, sir. And it will be patient on patient or survivor on survivor or caregiver because we welcome our caregivers to come on because they are they are so important in this journey. So it's, uh, it's just something that needs to happen. I think, you know, nationally it, it is just uh, phenomenal and I'm very excited about the whole, the whole action. <laughs> Well, we're really excited too. I hope that everybody that tuned in uh, will be able to join us. And uh, thank you both for your time. Uh, I know this is just a little teaser of, of you know everything that's to come. So I appreciate you both getting on the call. We look thank forward you. to in, in, in talking and seeing you know more pancreatic cancer survivors and patients to be able to move forward. Mm -hmm.